one thing that I'm a big fan of, uh, there's a line of action figures called SH Fig Arts. Uh, they're made by, uh, do they, I don't know who the hell makes them, but they're, uh, they're released in the state side by this company called Bluefin, mm -hmm. uh, Tamashi Nations. They got like eight names. I don't know why they call them that. They are, uh, they usually run about, um, I don't know, 50, 50, 60 bucks, depending on what you're buying. Yeah. Uh, some of them are, some of the licenses are available stateside officially. Uh, there are Star Wars ones. I got Freddie Mercury. The Dragon Ball ones are fantastic. I have a Piccolo yeah. and an Android 16 and a Trunks. Uh, they just announced... Finally, that they are doing Street Fighter ones, and they are gorgeous. Wow. So if you're a fan of uh, Street Fighter action figures, or Street Fighter or action figures, or any of the above, uh, mm -hmm. take a look at these. They got, obviously, two classics, Ryu and Chun-Li. Uh, just gorgeously posable. Uh, I remember kind of initially having sort of a sticker shock at the price of these, but mm -hmm. getting my hands on one, like, they're, you get what you pay for. Like, they're still toys. They're still a waste of money. Like, yeah. it's obviously... it's. If, if it's a matter of, you know, so, eating for a week or buying a toy, then that's well, a no-brainer. Yeah, but. definitely. But not like, to put it this way, like, you know, I bought the Luke Skywalker one. By, by the way, that chun is really cool. I bought the Luke Skywalker Black Series figure, right? And it comes with this, like, soft goods robe that looks really cheap. He looks like a Ken doll with just, like, an old, like a yep. 4XL shirt but on But it's him. cool because you can take his shirt off and make him do weird stuff that's with Obi-Wan Kenobi. He does, like, hunky, handsome Luke stuff. Yeah. But then this one, on the other hand, really cool, much more poseable. Uh, he comes with uh, his sort of, like, force training helmet and everything like that. Um, just lots of really cool stuff about it. Yeah. And the other cool thing is that a lot of their accessories are sort of interchangeable. Mm -hmm. So you, you can, can make their they have weird hands and stuff. Yep. Uh, I put some of the Dragon Ball Z hands on uh, on Freddie Mercury, and that doesn't look right because they're big cartoony hands that are the wrong skin tone. So mm -hmm. he's got these like giant mitts, sort of like sort of like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Chun Li and Ryu ones. Uh, if you want to take a look at these, they're using a new body type that apparently allows for more more posability. Uh, that one on the right there is just a really dumb picture, but you get the idea that they're going yeah, for. Yeah, so I was reading uh, up on this, by the way. Things. They have like a sort of like skeletal system that almost clicks in the way that they tried. I don't know if you've ever seen those like old Jack specific uh, WWE figures that are like rubbery but have like a clickable part inside. Yeah, them. yeah. So it's sort of like that, and they were showing this off at a Japanese trade show recently for these like weird just wireframe versions of characters they made. And you'll be able to pose them a lot easier because they actually have like sort of like a skeleton inside them. Yeah. I think that's awesome. Um, and this is really cool too, the sort of like Blaster stuff they do. Yeah, the, uh... they make uh, they make generic like battle damage. Like yep. I, they make like craters that you can put your dudes in, or just like explosions around them, so you can make it so that it's like Goku's charging up or Freddie Mercury's farting or whatever. Um, yeah, these are running you about fifty five bucks. Uh, they're out April twenty seventeen uh, at New York Comic Con. I got to look at some prototypes they have in the works. They've got uh, Dota two figures. They've got uh, Atlas and Peabody from Portal two. Yep. They've got I think. Uh, God, are those, are those figmas or I think those I think those are fig arts. I don't know. I can't even keep track. But if you're if you're looking for a, a good action figure line to get in on, check out fig arts because they're gorgeous. Yeah.